We tried to book a real worm for this next segment, but once again, the early bird got it. Probably should have seen that coming, but we do have the next best thing, alginate worms. Jackie Means, the STEM queen, is gonna teach us how they're made. Science has created computers, taken us to the moon, and helps us peer into the microscopic world of atoms and molecules. But today, it's helping us make some little worm guys using polymers. I'm Jackie Means, the STEM queen, and today we're gonna make some colorful little worms in this bowl. For this experiment, we're going to use some distilled water, a bowl, some calcium chloride powder, sodium alginate powder, food dye, and some squeeze bottles. Sodium alginate and calcium chloride are both safe to eat, but if you use food dye, you might want to put on some gloves or put a drop cloth down. Sodium alginate can be used as a thickening agent, a gelling agent, and an emulsifier in tons of foods like cheese, instant noodles, and even ice cream. It's also used in pharmaceuticals and medicines. It's actually made from brown algae, so shout out to brown algae for helping us out today. I bet you didn't know that there's brown algae in your cheese. I think that makes cheese a seafood? Maybe? Sodium alginate also forms polymers. We'll get into why that's important in just a second. So first up, we're going to make our calcium chloride solution. I'm going to take my distilled water, add it to our bowl. Now I'm going to take my calcium chloride beads and take 3 fourths teaspoon and add it to my bowl. Now I'm going to take my spoon and just mix it all together. And once you don't see any more beads, it's done. I'm going to take my sodium alginate solution that I made earlier by using distilled water, sodium alginate powder, and a little bit of food dye. The sodium alginate mixture will form mold if you leave it out, so make sure you put it in the refrigerator if you're not going to use it right away. And all I have to do is mix them together and we'll have a sodium alginate worm. Check that out. Oh, it's so long. <laughs> I love these little worms. They're so fun. They feel so gooey. You can make sodium alginate worms in a bunch of different colors. Literally any color you want. Worms. Green. Slimy, slimy goodness. So what is a polymer? A polymer is just a linked up chain of tiny, tiny molecules all grouped together. So the reason why we don't get this cool worm just by squeezing our sodium alginate mixture out of the bottle is because it's just sodium alginate floating around in water. But when you add it to a calcium chloride mixture, the calcium chloride causes the sodium alginate molecules to link up and form long chains. This chain forms a gel, similar to gelatin, which is what gives these worms their cool texture. The polymers in these worms are technically edible, but I just had lunch, so I'm not gonna eat them. Polymers are incredibly important. Polymers from crude oil are used in things like our plastics and our synthetic rubber, and also our clothing in things like polyester and vinyl. Natural polymers exist as well in things like silk and wool, and even your DNA is a polymer. Are polymers? This is a science show, not a grammar show. <laughs> Do you think that brown algae ever thought it would be on TV? goes to show. You can do anything as long as you try. I'm Jackie Means, the STEM queen, and I'll see you next time. Bye! If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.